mostly down beanstalk and we're, we're going to play this um going to give you a few tips on this um second movement of the handle barling so a sonata number six in e major and uh it's, as you can see, it's in two four. We're going to subdivide it into into quaver pulse um, before eight theoretically, um, in an order to get these semi quavers exactly in time as we possibly can. And uh, with the dynamics um, starting off with mezzo forte, but I'm going to say play piano, then going into forte, and then we whenever we got to fun in the second half where got quite a few dynamic markings to bring it out as well as keeping this strictly in time because uh, in you know in Handel's time they they would have been precisely on the beat because you know even with the the human conduct uh continuo players and players at the time even in practice they would have a chronometra which uh, um you know it's going to be in the 1600s 1695 it's going to be this timing device so we're going to use a metronome 152 As you can see, um, I still need more practice on it to get it 100%. It wasn't 100%. And, it, and with the dynamic change, um, you, you've got to um, um, really uh, really keep it within within trim. But, um, um, now now I'm going to go on to the next one. We've got um, a few minutes left on here. The next one is an adagio, so this uh, tune here. Um, it's all about phrasing and bowing. And uh, I'll just play through. It's uh, it's really got to be heartfelt. This because this is one of my first pieces when I played. When I think I was about, I think I was uh, nine year old. I was in a festival, and I probably played it better then than I do now. This is the Adagio.
and then it goes into the into the quick movements. I say it, it wasn't so particularly accurate because I think there's the discrepancy with the bowing here because the actual phrasing is is marked in a certain way and bowing in another. So the thing is the expanse of the phrasing here is because uh, uh, you know it's it, it's a it's a lyrical almost aria that. Um, it's more than a brock bow and Varney can actually cope with. So you, well, you have to be very subtle on your bow changes and what to incorporate, how the phrases go up. Um, so, uh, you know, taking fear, um, where can we start with this? Uh, uh, well, um, yeah, perhaps we ought to do that another time anyway, so. I hope that's given you some insight.